Well, a big welcome back to my garden and a welcome back to my roses. Finally, after our horrible summer, the roses are starting to take shape. Every rose has got new leaves on it, new growth on it in my garden. And finally, we have flowers. Let's look at this beautiful one. This one is called Freesia. It's a floribunda. It has many blooms when it's um, deep in its bloom. As you can see, it's the most beautiful deep yellow. It fades to a soft lemon tone after a while. However, it is one of the most popular yellow roses available with an exquisite um, citrus fragrance to it, which is more prominent in the evenings. A lot of roses, their fragrance is more prominent in the evening. So keep an eye for that. Very compact growth, one meter wide, about one meter tall, and it has great disease resistance in my subtropical garden. It can grow in a little bit of shade but remember six to eight hours gives you blooms on it all the time i water my roses once a week down in a little feeding tube that i put in just a bit of pvc i water in there and fertilize uh, in there at the same time this is a small rose it can go in a pot but just remember to keep it moist because a pot will dry out so a freesia it's a beautiful little rose doesn't take up a lot of space glorious absolutely glorious colors on this best of the yellow that you can get perfect in your garden freesia it's beautiful what can i say one of the favorite roses that i have growing in my garden have an absolutely fabulous afternoon, no matter where you are on our wonderful planet.